the sunlight or method to get rain. First thing you're gonna need is a little piece of sunlight. Second thing you're gonna need is a mirror. You need a mirror for sure. Third thing is a brush. You can use any brush. Last but not least, you will need a little spray bottle. First thing you wanna do, you wanna take your spray bottle, and you wanna just spray your hair with water. And start with the crown. That's the same way you want it to look. You don't want it to look like it's kinda like wet. Cause that's not what you want. You wanna use the soap bar's thickness to lay your hair a certain way to, you know, make it a cheat code to get waist faster. So start from the crown like I am right now. So, now we're about to get into the reveal. Before we get into the reveal, what we're gonna do now is a simple step. I got my rack under this, of course. You're gonna add some oils into your hair. I'm gonna explain why I add oils. It's very important. All right, so cool, boom. Rub it into your hands. You know, you want a little bit of size like that. And then we just, you know, spread it throughout your hair nice and easy like that, but What this is gonna do is gonna make it a little bit more greasy. Normally I add a lot because I want to make sure it gets in my head so when I wash it off it kind of stays there if that makes it you sick. So the soap is going to leave your hair but the oils are going to stay in there. So when you unrag you don't have to add any oils whatsoever. Your hair is going to be like extremely laid as soon as you unrag. So. You know after you add the oils this is when your hair is going to start you know poke it out it's not gonna be laid so you wanna do this extremely fast bro and that's why I added a whole lot of sunlight soap because I wanted it to be as thick as possible so it doesn't do that so the camera's about to die bro let me do this ASAP so as you saw boom brush this in done you don't have to brush for a long time you already did that with the sunlight ball you wanna add a little bit more oils and some goes into the bristles as you brush 
some of it goes on to the blisters. I just wanted it to get into my hair and in the sunlight. So as you can see, I added a lot more. Gotta move fast, boy. You gotta move fast when you do this shit. All right, so I'm all ragged up right now. I'm about to jump in the shower and then um, I'm gonna show you guys the reveal. So let's get straight to it. I already know it's gonna look fire. It's not all the way dry. It's kind of wet right here in the back. Is that a knot? So let's just hope it's washed off, you know, 100%. There's no soapy spots in my hair. And yeah, let's see. Ah, uh, it's a little bit of soap in there, not gonna lie. Nah, that's clean though. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Mmm. This, my hair is like super late. You want to use a different do-rag, put the do-rag on and just go in with cold water one more time. Make sure you use cold water. So yeah, that's been a video, bro. I don't know if you guys want me to wash it one more time, but self-explanatory, bro. Your hair's not going to be this way when you leave the house. Obviously, you want to wash it one more time. So I got a couple more things coming, bro. Trust me, a couple more crazy methods that you don't want to miss. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. See you guys in the next one. Easy.